So in this lesson, we're talking about pagination. Pagination is one of the things in SEO that, you know, if done right from a technical perspective, it can really have a massive positive impact on how your site performs in search results. There are two different types of scenarios for pagination. So say, you know, if you're an e-commerce retailer, you probably have a category pages and subcategory pages with loads of articles or products, and this causes you to create a page two of the category, for example, or even a page three of that given category. If you work with editorial content, you might have you know, very long articles, and you have to kind of break them, say, in the middle, or like at 30 or 40%, and you have those kind of multi-page articles. There are different approaches needed for those. In the e-commerce context, there is no reason for you to have a page two of that category being indexed. You want people to end up on the first page of this category as the strongest selling products are actually there. Secondly, there will be not any different types of ranking targets for an URL of you know, a page two or a page three for the same category. Back in the day, you would just have applied a no index to anything that is not page one and then be done with it. With the new solution um, that's using rel equals next and rel equals pref, these are attributes, the logic of Google is that you connect all of the existing pages um, into a chain using those different rel attributes. To simply break it down, this explains to Google which page in the chain comes next or appears before the other one. If the implementation was done correctly, the whole link equity would be redirected to the first page of that chain, for which the original ranking was planned anyways. If you implement rel equals next and rel equals pref, Keep in mind that if you search specifically for those URLs of you know, a category page two or page three, it will eventually show up in search results nevertheless. That's a bit confusing, but there's nothing you can do about that really. Again, it's not a directive such as no index. It is of limited or almost no help in terms of indexation management because those URLs, so you know, page two plus of the category, they will remain in the index anyways. It can also work well when combining directives. You could do a rel equals next and a rel equals pref chain and then apply a meta robots no index on a page two plus, so all the sub pages. However, this is something that Google doesn't really re recommend anymore. Google recently said, if you have a no index over a long period, then we will treat those URLs as if they had a no follow applied on top of it as well. This breaks the concept as pages two, three, and four, and others are necessarily to pass along link equity to your product detail pages. So if you use them for distributing the link power, this will break the entire indexation strategy. Right now, implementation of proper pagination means just sticking with Google's recommendation on rel next and rel pref, and not caring too much about the fact that you want to remove page two or page three from the index as well. It opposes the general concept of keeping the index as small and as precise as possible, which is a bit sad though. For very large sites, individual approaches are still needed. Regular sized sites should just use rel next and rel pref. Another thing that is really wrong in terms of pagination is the use of canonical tags. Just really make 100% sure that the canonical tag does not point back from pages you know, two, three, and four to your page one. A canonical tag is supposed to point to itself. If you're on page two, it should also point to page two. If you take the canonical tag for all the pages URLs and point it back to URL one, that is totally wrong and it will kill your efforts. Product pages linked from category pages two plus will not get link equity if you canonicalize everything to page one. Just make really sure to recheck everything once you implement it.